Hello again guys, Dan here for uh, another Gazette Community video. I just posted a vinyl update yesterday, but I had this stack of cassettes that I've been meaning to show for a while now, so I figured I'd take a few minutes and show what I've picked up over the last month or so. Uh, first, I guess you would call it uh, CCLT. Uh, some love from Henry to the boy Alice. Uh, this is the first Blind Melon cassette. Um, he came across some, uh, a bunch of cassettes I think he got for free and he was offering them to us on Facebook and I luckily I got to him first and I said yeah, I really want that Blind Melon cassette. That's the only one I really want but I really want that. So he said cool man it's yours and uh, it is here. And he sent a nice note, which I really appreciate, and we'll be staying with the cassette. All I've really known of Blind Melon is this album in uh, No Rain, the, the very popular single. And you know, for the longest time, I thought this girl was actually in the video. Uh, but it's a different girl. I did not know that. But that is one of the best music videos of the 90s, for sure. Very glad to have this. This is one of the most crazily expensive r records to get on vinyl from the 90s. It's just stupid. So, this will do. Thank you, Henry, very much. Um, I got this sealed. This is Quicksand, Manic Compression, their second record. 95. And, uh, if you've never heard of Quicksand, you've probably heard a band that they've influenced. They were very, very, um, big part of the post-hardcore of the early 90s and uh, they're actually back together playing shows um, even played a late night TV show recently and their first album Slip was recently reissued on vinyl which is awesome because uh, original pressings are hard to come by and there's bootlegs now and stuff but uh, they got a really nice reissue treatment and uh, I'll be showing that um, in my next final update. It's a pretty awesome record, but uh, yeah, I got this tape. It sounds okay, um, but I think that's more or less due to the recording of the album, the way it was recorded. But uh, pretty sweet to get that. Also, uh, Toad the Wet Sprocket, Coil. Uh, this is the last full-length album that they put out, I think it was 97. I really love the song, Come Down. I think that's a really great pop rock song. This whole album is really good. I think it's my favorite of theirs. And uh, they're actually back together too. They put out like a an album of re-recorded older songs just last year, and I think they're working on a new one actually. So that's pretty cool. I got Nevermind by Nirvana. I think this was a dollar. Figured it'd be nice to have. I remember listening to this on cassette. Um, back in the day. So that was nice. And an album that I listened to on cassette a whole bunch when I was a kid, and I don't have that original copy anymore, but Back to the Future soundtrack. And I got this for like a quarter. And I forgot that I actually had it on cassette that I'd purchased at like a Goodwill or something. Um, but this is a high quality cassette version. I don't know if you can see that logo there. So maybe, maybe it'll sound a little bit better. It's a little bit nicer than the one I had. I love this soundtrack. And I actually have it on vinyl, which I'm pretty happy about, but it'd be nice to listen to it the way I used to listen to it. Soul Asylum, uh, Grave Dancers Union. This has their hit, uh, Runaway Train. Great album by them. Uh, Collective Soul, another great 90s alternative rock album. Self-titled. It's got uh, The World I Know. Which is a big hit for them. Cool to get that. A couple of uh, REM records. Green and Out of Time. I remember having Green on cassette when I was a kid. I don't know what happened to that, but uh, couldn't hurt to have some REM. This is pretty sweet. <clears throat> DJ Jazzy Jeff and the Fresh Prince. This one is called Home Base from 93. 91. This has uh, Summertime, which is my favorite 
Fresh Prince song. Uh, Super OS. He just got this on vinyl, which I was kind of jealous of. But uh, yeah, that's an awesome song. Good to pick that one up. Uh, some more 90s hip hop R&B, Salt and Peppa. Very necessary. This one has Shoop on it, which is a huge hit back in the early 90s, 1993. Uh, Snap, World Power. This has the power, which is a huge like dance song. 1990. Crash Test Dummies. This one's called God, God Shuffled His Feet, and this had that monster hit, which is, you know, when you think back, how could that song be a smash hit? It's called mm 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 mm, and that's like the chorus. You think back at it, and just some of that music, no way would it be a hit now. People just don't have that that kind of sensibility when it comes to popular music. Those were good. Those were good days for radio. There was actually some decent music. Uh, this is Semisonic's first album, Great Divide, from 96. This is actually a promo. And uh, I really like Semisonic, and I really love uh, Feeling Strange to Find, their second album that had a huge hit with Closing Time. And I don't remember this one all that much, and I haven't listened to it yet, but... Uh, great band, and I, I'm looking for, for Feeling Strange to Find. Like I said, I don't think it was pressed on vinyl. And I also got uh, three U2 albums. Um, the Unforgettable Fire, The Joshua Tree, and October. If you can see them all there. Um, I have these two on vinyl as well as, well as War. And for some reason, uh, none of the U2 vinyl that I have uh, really impresses me sonically. Feels like there's just a little bit too much music on this on the sides, and there's a lack of bass, especially on War. You can barely hear the bass on that one. Um, and I ha haven't listened to these cassettes yet, so hopefully they sound a bit better. And uh, yeah, that's that's the cassettes that I've been stacking up for a while. Um, thank you for watching, and I'll be back with another vinyl update here uh, fairly soon, I hope. And uh, and then after that, I don't, you know, I don't plan on getting too much in the next few weeks, but of course, as a collector, you say that out loud, and then uh, you don't get stuff, but uh, I'm gonna try my best. But yeah, it's good to show that stuff, and uh, thank you all for watching course and uh, talk to you soon. Enjoy your music.